All right, I'd like to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Rakak Wadash, double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the GMS. Peace and blessings to the brothers pushing his word in truth, sincerity, and in faith. All right, we almost out of here. Okay, this kingdom is going down the tubes. Okay, and the prophecies are coming to pass. Okay, uh, let's get a quick scripture. All right, it's the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 1, it says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables. Okay, what does it mean to make it plain? Make it to where it can be understood. Explain it. Okay, matter of fact. You know what, Salak, let me get this dictionary because I'm using my other phone to upload. So I don't want that to interrupt. But I'd like to get the definition of the word explain. Okay. B, C, D, E. S T V X P L. All right. And this is the definition of explain. Okay. Uh, this is explain. And it says from the Latin explanare, literally to make level. <whistles> when you make something level, what do you do? is balanced mm. it say uh from x plus planus which means level planus means level to make plain or understandable to give the reason for or cause of to show the logical development or relationships of all right uh, synonyms or expound, interpret. <laughs> okay. We're interpreting these scriptures, okay, through the Holy Spirit. Okay. We're making them understandable through the Raha Kodash, through the Holy Spirit. Okay. So when the scripture says, make it plain upon tables. It's saying, explain it, man. Make it to where it can be understood. And that's what we're doing through these electronic epistles, okay? Giving understanding, okay? Matter of fact, let's grab another scripture. Let's go to the book of Proverbs. Because this was a lesson that I was going to do, but I didn't do it. But now the Spirit is having me do it. Ain't that something? This is uh, Proverbs 4 and 7. It says, wisdom is the principal thing. Where do we get the wisdom from? From these scriptures. Okay. It says, therefore, get wisdom. Get it. Okay. And with all that getting, get understanding. Okay. So it is our job to make sure that we're making it plain upon tables. So that the understanding can go out, okay? That there's understanding of what this book is actually saying. And again, we always use the example, the book of Eli. Eli didn't have understanding, but he knew the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. But he didn't understand what the scriptures were talking about, okay? Okay. <laughs> So let's read this again. Have a cook two and one. I will stand uh, two and two. Salakia. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that it may. Salakia, that he may run that reads it for the vision is yet for an appointed time. Matter of fact, let's get the word appointed. Because you can let's say you make an appointment to go to the dentist. I mean, you it's. Is a time that's scheduled out for you. 
to be there. Okay, this slot is open. This is this is your slot. Okay, Slovakia. Hey, I'm doing a list and I'm gonna call you right back. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Slovakia. Okay. So let's get the word appointed. Appoint. Appoint. T appointment. Appointed. A point, all right, to fix or set officially. Appointment, appoint a day for a meeting, all right. So there's there's a pointed day in time, okay, for the visions, for these prophecies to happen, all right. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, though it seem like it's taking a little time. Wait for it. What does it mean to wait? Because when you're waiting, you suffer. We're suffering during this waiting, which is called patience. All right? We have patience. That means we're suffering while waiting. Okay? We're patiently waiting. All right? We're suffering. Okay? Patience means to suffer. You must have patience in this thing. It says, wait for it. Don't give up. Okay? The scriptures say, he that endured to the end. The same shall be saved. Okay? So wait for it. It will not tarry. Alright? So let's go through that one more time. Habakkuk 2 and uh, 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. So we got the definition of appointed. Alright? Uh, to fix a set officially a time for meeting. Alright? So there's a time when this is, this is going to happen. Okay? And the Lord said to look and, and, and measure the times diligently. Okay? Matter of fact, let's 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 grab a scripture. That's a good one. I want to get this one up. Uh, Second Ezra 9 and 1 It says he answered Me then and said measure thou the time Diligently in itself Okay And when thou seest part of the signs Past which I told you Told thee before Then shalt thou understand that it is the Very same time That appointed time when the highest Will begin to visit the world Which he made you see Everything has an appointed time Okay. The, what what do Ecclesiastes say? Let's get that. Okay. Precept upon precept. This is Ecclesiastes chapter three. In verse one, it says, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Okay, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up that which is planted. Well, guess what? We're moving into harvesting season and the, 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 the reaper is about to come through with that sickle. Okay. It's time for, it's, it's time for the, uh. How do they say that saying? Uh, the chickens are coming home to roost. Something like that. Okay. In other words, we at the end. We at that appointed time, man. Okay. Let me read one more time in Habakkuk 2. And 3 it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak. And it's speaking, man. Okay. We see the mark of the beast. It's here. Okay. And it's global. Okay. Don't think it's just going to be over here. It's going to be all over the world. That's why the held elder apostle. Uh, Tahar. Coined this. The year of Karagma. We saw. What they did with the microchip this year man. Okay. They pushed. 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 Now imagine what is. 2020 is about to be a roller coaster. 
Okay. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak, it's speaking. And not lie, though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. It's, it's, our salvation is nearer than what we believe, man. All right, let's get that in the book of Romans. All right. I'm just going through the spirit. Uh-oh. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. I think I passed it up. It's a lot. I ain't got my reading glasses. Uh, I know what chapter. That's okay. I'll find it. This is it. Romans thirteen and eleven. Why well, I couldn't think of that, but that's all right. Romans thirteen and eleven, and that knowing the time. Okay, that word time keep coming up. Measure thou the time an appointed time and that knowing the time what time what's written in this this scriptures knowing the time where we are in this biblical timeline okay where are we at let's get a quick scripture i'm gonna come right back to that All right. This is second after six and seven. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? See there? What time we in? What time is it? You know, like Jake like to say. Okay, looking at my Gucci is about that time. Yeah. What time? Huh? Second Ezra 6 and 7. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall the end be? Or when shall be the end of the first Salachia and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham and Tithe, when Jacob and Esau were born, of him, see, that's our brother, okay, our wicked brother. Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world. Esau is in rulership. This obvious we are we are at the end of the world. Job 9 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Okay. That's plain. Alright. We're at the end. Because Esau is in power. For Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. You see? Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time. What time? That now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. All right? It's nearer. We see all this stuff is happening fast, man. It's already 2020. I mean, today is the, what, 30th? 30th? Yeah. Monday, December the 30th, 7.40 a.m. Okay? This time is on crystal meth, man. Okay? So now it is high time to wake out of sleep. Come out of that dust. The visions are speaking, okay? And we know that the elect is, 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 is waking up, man, okay? That's more, that puts us closer to getting out of here also, all right? Um, let's see if we get anything else. Uh... see something. I just want to check real quick. 
I'm going to bring this out. You know, I end it here. The spirit say the same. Uh, because the scriptures deal with time. That they deal with time. All right. This is the measuring stick of the time to see where we are, where we, where we are in time. Okay. You know, when you want to know what, what time it is, look at what's going around. Look what's going on around the world. Be circumspect, as the scriptures say. Then filter it through the scriptures. Well, shit, you know what? We at the end. Look at what's going on. We at the end. Okay. Uh Matthew 24, and I'm gonna jump around. St. Matthew 24 and 22, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. It's 2020. Okay. Let's jump. Verse 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. See, you keep talking about time and days and hours. Time, but of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only, only the most high knows the exact day and time, which shows that the heavenly father and his son are two separate entities on the same accord, but yet two separate entities, okay? But of that day, Salakia, but as the days of Noah were. How was it going down in the days of Noah? Just like it's going down now. Wickedness was thriving. People was doing what they wanted to do. Noah was prophesying. So the word was going out. Y'all better cut this wickedness out. A flood is coming. Get right. But as the days of Noah were, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. He's going to come as a thief in the night. You see? Just like back then. They didn't believe it was going to rain. People don't believe that America's going to be destroyed. Tough tete. Okay? It's going to happen. It's happening. All right? It was happening. It's happening. All right? Uh, for as the days, this is St. Matthew 24 and 28. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Just like in the days of Noah, man. Our people are doing what they want to do, being like they father the devil, man. Okay? Doing what he lusts, all right? Which is the fulfillment of the flesh, pleasuring themselves, okay? They caught up into the world. Just like they was caught up in the world back then. They don't know what time we in. Okay. That's why they're going to get caught in this new flood that's coming. All right. A flood of fire. And even before the fire hit. Okay. Plagues. Pestilences. All right. Insurrections. Uprisings. Uproars. When all hell, when all hell is about to break loose. It's breaking loose, like the Lord said. A fire is already kindled. Okay, when He returned, the fire already gonna be kindled, man. Okay. And I mean that's pretty much it, man. These scriptures deal with timelines, man. Where are we at in this timeline? The end. So with that, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bashem Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and GMS. I want to say peace and blessings unto the elect. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. It's on to the next one. We at the end. Shalom.